are you testing me? There are some people today who see the pandemic and the coronavirus as God testing us. Why are you testing me? Are words Jesus heard today, as we heard Jesus speak today, rather, in Mark's gospel. Some men were sent to trick him with a question about paying taxes to Caesar. And Jesus knew in, the, in their hearts that these men were insincere. And his words evidenced pain and hurt. Why are you tricking me? Why are you testing me? Those words of Jesus could be asked of people who see the virus as a test from God. How could anyone believe that the death of thousands, the destruction of economies, the pain and anguish of the poor across the world could be a test when, as the psalmist reminded us today, in every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge that before the mountains were begotten and the earth and the world were brought forth, you, God, are everlasting. As the psalmist also noted and we affirm today, in every age man has been turned back to dust. In every age, 70 is the sum of our years, or 80 if we are strong, and most of them are fruitless toil, for they pass quickly and we drift away. But is it not also true that our days have also been filled with kindness, with joy, and with gladness? One can see how people could begin to think that God put us to the test. In that second letter of St. Peter today, our beloved Peter, the spiritual guide of early Christians, felt the need to put fear into, the, into their hearts. On the one hand, he urged them to be patient and wait for God's coming a second time, but then told them, don't test God, because the days are coming when the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. We can ask about testing today, but the testing of educational models that this virus has turned upside down the testing of family relationships and the need for all members of a family to pitch in and help and not take one another for granted. Or the testing of a government's preparedness to provide adequate care for the most vulnerable among its people. Jesus could be asking us to test him about his message of hope, righteousness, and peace among peoples. And we could also be testing ourselves and ask, given all that we are going through these days, are we growing in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? God be blessed in all our families today. <laughs>